So today you're going to see a little bit of a behind the scenes of one of the best golf courses in the world. And the most expensive. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it then. So today we are in St Andrews, but we're not in St Andrews all day. We're going and filming at King's Barns with Rachel McQueen, so make sure you check that video out. Now, I didn't want to get in Rachel's way because she's filming quite a big project, so I thought, how can I bring you guys some fun content around one of the best, most expensive golf courses that I've ever heard of, maybe around the world? So we thought we'd do a, the vlog, mate, didn't we? Let's have a vlog and have, and have, and have some, uh, some up it, uh, carry for you as well. <laughs> Foxy's devastated that he's not playing, but we did play the old course yesterday and we're playing the old course tomorrow So that's not too bad. One thing I will say is I absolutely love this town What we're we doing for breakfast? Pret or Greg's or Starbucks? You know what? I fancy Pret, something like with some vitamins and minerals Vitamins? Yeah. I'll see because I'm going to Greg's. I, I thought you might do <laughs> No, I think we've I think I've come to a decision because there's a big queue in Greg's I'm not uh, I'm not feeling it. Come on, fruit. Fruit? Yes, good for you. Oh. There you go. It's a So that's breakfast done, and the next job is to get you on. On there. It was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's do something about that, though. And that. Bird shit. Mm. Better bird poop everywhere. Right, Avante, King's Barns, would you like to navigate? Yes. I love this place, man. <coughs> Get around in here. So, King's Barns is one of the most, I'm not sure whether exclusive is the right word, but definitely one of the most expensive courses that I've not played, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, Foxy, how much would you pay to play a round of golf? Personally, I think I would pay it. Saying, I'd pay, I need to go around back. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I'd pay up to the £100 mark, I think, personally. Yeah. Depending on, obviously, your clubhouse, your welcome, the facilities. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll put on screen now how much King's Barnes is. Cut that person up. And, guys, get in the comments below, how much would you pay? I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I'm Starting really looking forward to, to it. And I think it's going to be something very special. That's what everybody says. But should should any golf course be that expensive is, is the real question. So we're going to get up there today. Um, like I said, Rachel's filming a bit of content, which I'm really looking forward to doing as well. And we're going to try not to get in her way, but Fox is going to be the, the caddy and cameraman. Helping out, aren't it? Helping out, mate. Right. Should we go in sport mode or? Hello. Hello. So guys, today will be a bit of an interesting behind the scenes look at kind of what we do, how we do it. really hope you enjoy it. Um, and I'm absolutely buzzing to play this golf course. Really, really excited. So, that's his loop. Back up, run. Oh, I might have to give the shoes a bit of a spruce, that's all. Top tip always have a... Hey Stevie. Williams. I think you're going to do really well today with me on your bag. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pay for a trolley though. Excellent. We got absolutely... Yesterday we were really sore, weren't we? We spoiled ourselves, haven't we? We were your mm. knee injury, we've been using fuggies a lot. Yeah, we? we've knee's feeling noticed. a bit better as well, to be fair. Yeah. Um, so I've actually been here a few times before. This is where they host the Dunhill Lynx Championship, as well as St Andrews, the old course, and Carnoustie. And I came round when Chris was caddying for Jigger and walked the course with him. By the way, Jigger qualified for the Open yesterday, so make sure you check him out on Twitter and Instagram and give him a huge congratulations. Here she is. How are we? Are you well? Yes, I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. So I've just explained to everyone, Rachel. Yes. Just explained to everyone that I'm not going to get in the way today because I'm going to play golf and enjoy it. So I'm going to give the camera to that man, <laughs> as well as the bag, and we're going to walk off into the sunset Aww. and play, play King's Barn. <laughs> <I can't wait. laughs>
if I'm only carrying it and not swinging, I'll be all right. Are we, uh... Just please use main entrance, bro. Yeah, but the, 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 the shop. Oh, the, right, the shop. Oh, yeah, we're going to go get some goodies. Yeah. I like to say it's before the Ooty, bro. You're on either. Oh. Show you the Yeah. John wanted the head cover, didn't he? Yes, he did. Morning. Morning, you all right? Yeah. I've got to buy my friend a head cover, and rather than getting the wrong one... Answer, John. If not, we'll turn around for it. Yeah. Right, I'm going to have a putt before we tee off, I think. Oh, I'll tell you what as well. well. I've offered Foxy a trolley today because he's caddying for me. I don't know why he's not taking one because this bag's so heavy. So heavy. Oh my God, this floor is... This is possibly the nicest thing I've ever walked on. Wonderful. I'm going to have to put another layer on. I risked it with shorts today, I don't mind my legs being cold, but not everything. Did I mention that I'm really looking forward to today? Really looking forward to it. Rachel, what have we got? <gasps> I know! Wow! Isn't that fancy? That's if it's like 20 years old as well. Is that a ball marker? Yeah. How heavy is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm chuffed about that. I reckon that. 365 quid, fancy it. I nearly lost half it for you then. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out. That's yours for the day, that, mate. <laughs> Back there, oh, thank you. There you go. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, look at that. That's nice, I've been asked, I've not got a ball mark. <laughs> 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 you've got a ball mark. Can we get Mr Fox one as well, please, if you've got a spare? Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Do you, want, do you need teas or anything like that? Um, I'm good, yeah, I'm alright, thank you. Thank you. We've got teas, Fox, haven't we? Sponsored Seen by. these, Rage. <laughs> hey. Oh. Oh, you know how to treat a girl. <laughs> Just, let's give him a little plug. There he is. Mr. Campbell on Instagram. Thank you ever so much for those. Rachel, you enjoy them. I I'll, will. I'll be asking you in every tea for one. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the things that you get at a course like this. And I know it's like, very Dubai-esque actually. You get things like this in Dubai at the Troon course and stuff. But that's a lovely little keepsake. Folks, it even makes this noise as well. The extent of the professionalism here. <laughs> Check this out. Thanks. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, I've got to keep it PG 13, no swearing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh. promise out. I was going to swear then. <laughs> On the tee from somewhere in Scotland, Rachel McQueen. <laughs> Caddy. Caddy. No wonder it's so heavy. Have you seen what's in here? Water. Three, three bottles, four bottles of water. Look. Stay hydrated, kids. Like us in the jigger in last night. Yep. I suppose it's ninety percent water, isn't it? Ninety-nine percent water. Mm. So Rachel, first hole at King's Barns, <sighs> ripped it off the tee for do say so myself. But that's not what today's about. Yeah. So Rachel, before we start filming for your channel, I turn my camera off for a while. <laughs> And I must say, today we're going to try and enjoy the course a bit more. We're going to grab some content for you guys and show you what it's all about. But it's really about just what a golf course. Yeah, it's, I'm just so excited to be here. <laughs> I am as well, to be yeah, fair. Um, and I'm just excited that you accepted the invite. I'm well, sure when, so when, when Rachel <laughs> messaged me and said, we need to have a catch up, I was like, yes, Rachel, we do. She was like, how's King's Barnes? I was like, Rachel, off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you actually called me straight away and went, are you joking? <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, I'm being deadly serious. And yeah, just what a place this is. Um, I have obviously played this course a few times. I haven't played it in years though, so I'm excited to be back. Mm. But yeah, we're going to have a little challenge, man. We are, I've heard this. So last six holes. 
So what is it about, Rachel? Today, today's content for you. So if people want to go over and check out on Rachel McQueen Golf, it's about the environment. Yes, yeah, so it's all about sustainability. So Adidas, they have their prime green and prime blue clothing, which is all made from sustainable materials. And we interviewed the course manager earlier today, Ennis Knight, and talking everything about what Kings Barnes do to be more sustainable, uh, which was a lot of fun. And now we just get to go and play this wonderful course. But yeah, guys, head over to my channel, track my birdies, and you guys can win sustainable Adidas goodies too. Wonderful. And track my bogeys. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on the opening tee shot, Mr. Fox? I think that's what you call position A. I think it possibly is. Yeah. yeah. Happy? Yeah. Yeah, good shot. I remember watching Jigger and Chris here. So Chris was caddying for Jigger on the European Tour in the Dunhill Links, and Chris gave him the wrong club, and he flew this green, and it's an impossible up and down. I think that's why Jigger missed a cut that week, because Chris was just useless, to be honest. <laughs> it could even be a chippy nine, couldn't it? But... Here you go. Love. Go! No! <laughs> Safe. Yeah, nice roll. Oh! oh. Get that. Do you ever clean your clubs? No. Nope. Might be a reason why. This one's going to be very self-explanatory for you. Do <laughs> you? Yep. Far three. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a bogey on the first. And to be honest, I really don't care. No? It's, I think, for me, if you do play somewhere like this and you, and you pay the top money for it, we were saying, weren't we, that I, I love playing golf and I love scoring well. But the most, most important thing for me there is I love playing golf and that always comes first. Yeah. And I think if you come and try and play a golf course primarily to score well, Fair enough if you're in a tournament or a competition, but for me, it's about enjoying your company, enjoying the golf course. And I'm alright saying that because I'm rubbish, but I'm at peace with that. I don't think. I don't. I don't. Think, <laughs> Rachel's laughing. I'm not rubbish. That's I don't think rubbish. keeping a score to to get a score. I think just keeping it as yeah, and then feeling score. You love keeping, keeping a score, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's nice to know what you what you've done and like Rain Man. Yeah, with the card. The newbie golfer just loves yeah. having a scorecard. I was uh, I was thinking. I looked at this hole on the scorecard thinking hole in one possibility but with that flag no no oh go on then Ooh. stay there sit oh disgusting did you see that no pitched about a yard from the flag and then went in that bunker oh no didn't spin hang on so apparently going for that flag with a bunker there wasn't the right shout. They try and tell you, mate. You've got your mallard wedge out already. Well, I already know what you're going to do. You already know what I'm going to do. To be fair, it's not that short sided, but it pitched like here, so I think. I don't know. But we just had a bit of a discussion in that when you play a course like this, you might only ever play it once. So you, you, why would you not go for the flags and try and enjoy it? I still think seven might have been shot where you were. Yeah, I think out. it was. I think it was the wrong club, yeah. yeah That's but... twice you've done that, but. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I've got you there, haven't I? Yeah, a little bit. Nice rage. Go on then. Lovely. Thank you. Probably rubbish in them, folks. They just don't look like bins, do they? <laughs> they're not Yorkshire bins, then, mate, are they? No, they're not, they're not, they're not council they're bins. Like bags, they, no. Look at this they're walking out to now. Wonderful. Which, o which, which ocean is that or which sea? Big blue wet one.
You're really enjoying me caddying, aren't you? Yeah. So guys, what we're going to do, we're going to film kind of a few more shots and holes and stuff of the front nine. Apparently it all kicks off here on the back nine. So Rachel's going to film the content that she's making there. I'm just going to show you kind of how beautiful this place is. I know it's expensive, we discussed that in the car. It all kicks off on back nine and... This is, so. yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's, um, really is quite remarkable. Um, but yeah, so we'll show you some more. Hopefully we'll make a few birdies and we'll get them in. Birdies, Rach, we're having some. Birdies, birdies. <laughs> what are we saying about this drive, Foxy? Another, Another physician. Ah. We just need to start actually capitalising, I think. Yep. 207.3. You press the on off button. I don't know what happened there, because it wasn't working, was it? Do you reckon 4 or 5? 207. Downwind. Hold on. Yeah, it wind's helping. I think 5. Because the only place you can't go is right. If you go right, you're in the bunker anyway. Oh, just... Hold that line and go. That's short, isn't it? I didn't strike it very well. Don't go in there. So we're just saying how well this place is designed because not only do you feel like you're on your own in every hole, which I know is part of the design, it's all man-made this, which you wouldn't believe. And then, so this par 5 for example, you're thinking, oh, I'll try and run it through that gap towards the flag, make eagle or two put birdie. But actually it rolls into, I've got lucky because mine's short of it, rolls into a really deep cavernous bunker. That's excellent architecture, isn't it? Yeah, well my golf shot hit off there on the bank and it came all the way down here. Yeah. It's funny because they're not difficult golf shots, are they? They're just a bit intimidating. My lob wedge has never been this clean. <laughs> Might get some spin out of it now. Yeah. What happens when the putts go down, Foxy? Thumbs go up, up, up. <laughs> yeah, nice. So, Foxy, if you're going to define these two drives, what would you say? Textbook. Position A again. Position A in textbook. There you are. What? I mean, I'm already going to put this out there. This is definitely up there. I'm going to try and sneak it into my top five rating at the end of this video i mean it's already in there i'm going to spend some time thinking about where it is is it number one is it number two what is your number one at the moment it's harbour town Ooh, harbour town links so i mean to don't get me wrong this is special yeah. it's gonna do well to knock it off i'm not saying it can't do it because you said the back nine's magical yeah the back nine i think the final six holes which we're gonna play a match is yeah, it's great. And to be honest, we said, didn't we, if that's great, what's this? Because this is unbelievable. Exactly. Rachel McQueen, how good's that shot? Oh, wonderful. Really glad you didn't turn around there, because I'd have absolutely nailed I you know, with the camera. Right? I'd, co I'd committed to the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it close, and then it's bogey, bogey, birdie, birdie start. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? You're not even looking that. at the flag, are no, you? You, you, you damage limitations at, at the green. Yeah. So we're just having a bit of a chat, guys, on the fourth hole. We started bogey bogey, then birded the third. We've got a birdie put on the fourth, albeit not exactly as short as you would have liked with 95 yards in. But the thing about this course in St Andrews yesterday as well, the old course, when flags are on ledges like that, you, you've got to be so careful where you go because if you miss it on the wrong side, it's an automatic bogey straight away, which is what we found on the first two holes, evidently. So, hmm. Harbour Town, Sun City, North Berwick. Do you like I'm reeling these off so quickly? Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then I've actually got the West course at Wentworth in there. I think that's a spectacular golf course. Never played it. I've only played it after the changes, so I don't know what it was like before then. Right. Um, and to be honest, fifth spot's always been a bit of a floater for me. Um, so, I mean, Magnolia at Disney in Florida, I don't know if you played that one. No. Where they played the Mickey Mouse bunkers, like, really. Yeah. But they played a PGA Tour event there, so it's a proper golf course, but yeah. that's kind of my top five. Um, okay. Played Royal Pines in Australia, on the, on the Gold Coast. 
That you was good. some really rubbish golf courses, James. I know. <laughs> well travelled. Well travelled. Yeah, I've played golf on six continents. Wow. That's so I've got so one cool. continent left to do. Right. Is the seven continents with the five? All I know is one and an Antarctica. <laughs> How many continents are they? Google this before we yeah, make it sound sounds like idiots. Are like so one of the big ideas like behind my channel was that I wanted to tick off the final continent and say I've played on all of them. So I've done Africa, I've right. done Australasia, I've done Asia, I've done Europe and I've done America. Yeah. There must be seven. There are seven. Yeah, I told you. I nearly put how many condiments are there and then we're into all different <laughs> ball <laughs> game then, aren't we? Antarctica. I've not done that one. Asia. Done it. Australia. Done it. Europe. Done it. North and South America. Done it, done it. Yeah, so I've got one left to do. Antarctica, are we going? You're, yeah. you're, you're dressed for it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've taken the waterproof off now. Yeah. Right, yeah. let's get back to the golf anyway. <laughs> what? John's done another one of them gifts with me. Has he? What's it say? <laughs> <laughs> Cut the roof down, John. Yep. I think you send it left and it's got to cut, come in hasn't it? Yeah, quite in wind as well, haven't you? Come in. Oh, I mean that, come on. How <laughs> good's that? And you've got an uphill foot as well. Oh, Foxy. Get us on tour. Mickey Mouse tour. I'll tell you what's really funny as well, every time you hit a good shot, it's bumping itself up in those top five rankings. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Rach, I bet uh, people think we know what we're doing here watching this. That's not an easy shot with that mound in the way. All I had in my head was you're not leaving this shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, McQueen's in. Come She's on. in there, the birdie count starts. So you see my issue here is that I wanted today's video to be a nice kind of short sharp video we show you breakfast and the drive up here maybe a couple of holes and then leave the rest of the work to Rachel but every hole we get on I'm like well I can't not show them this one We've just got a bit of a saga coming haven't we? So um yeah I hate to tell you but it's going to be like that every single hole <laughs> Better get some popcorn ready haven't you <laughs> Yeah yeah get your feet up put the kettle on yep. and uh oh, away we go I don't want to say this is another position A Foxy off the tee, but he might be just B here. Just B. Just B. Thoughts on the venue? Oh, it's sublime. Is it another sense as well? It's just that constant sea breeze. Just that, it's lovely. That, that, Hmm. Hmm. That's what we like, Fox, isn't it? Walking down from 150 yards with the putter in the hand. Well, that's it. And you could walk off like that. <laughs> what is it the players do when they miss a birdie put Fox? Is that one? <laughs> Have it. Pitch. <laughs> Would anybody like to squash it? What a hole this looks like, by the way. Ah, oh. really nice? hole in one. I do find it amazing because although there are difficult pin positions like that one there and we've been caught out a few times they're all accessible somewhere or another so if you play it again you know oh, well, it's down there I need to aim there I think that's the kind of genius of the architecture behind it although they're difficult they're not impossible so custom like it yeah <laughs> come back again and again and again, again. cha-ching 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 <laughs> Keep 
quick. Ooh, pop that. Is that yeah. how close it is to that front edge? What about clock on the clubhouse? Land it just on and let it kind of scutter up and round. Yeah. Like it. Go, oh, get up, about an get ounce up. More. Get up still. But you've got to put across as opposed to back towards. I'd have taken that to be honest. Right guys, we now have a birdie put on the ninth green in front of the wonderful clubhouse. And I've basically showed you the whole front nine there. So we're going to leave it at that. We're going to see if we finish this off. If you do want to see the back nine or in fact the back six, make sure you check out Rach McQueen's channel because that's going to be quite a fun video. And I'll probably stick some bits on Instagram as well. It's such a beautiful place. I really didn't want this video to be as long as it has been, but I'm sure it's been a good one. Have you enjoyed yourself? I am. Still enjoying myself now. Still in, I can't wait to go on the back nine. Mr. Caddy. So guys, there we go. That is Kings Barnes Golf Club, or the front nine of it. Every single shot. And I've really, 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 I've hated every minute of that, Rachel. It's been, <laughs> been torture. Um, Rachel, in a serious note, thank you so much for inviting us up. Really, really appreciate it. It's, it's between one and two. Really? Yeah. Harbour Town, wow. Harbour Town holds a special place in my heart, but I feel like this place is going to do as well, so... Yeah, and I organised the weather for you, you know. The beer's good. Everything. You really couldn't have done much more. So, um, guys, make sure you do get over and see part two. Not really part two. Just make sure you go and see Rachel's channel. When's this coming out, Rachel? Mine will be pretty soon. Have you got an uh, edit time or? Not really got an edit time with this. Give it a few weeks. Give it a few weeks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a few weeks. But I'll tell you what. James will let you guys know on Instagram as yes. soon as it's live. Yeah, I will. Uh, and thank <laughs> you very much, Mr. Best Man. Have you enjoyed it? I've enjoyed it. It's been a nice walk. Right, do you want to go and put some stuff in the car now? Yeah, like all the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you are new here, make sure you do smash that subscribe button and leave us a like. What a day, what a day. Also, if you've liked the kind of behind the scenes aspect, let us know as well, because I quite enjoy doing them. Um, yeah, apart from that, I'll see you at the same time tomorrow. Oi!